You may have seen this news item in Natural News. Now, Bill Gates did say... Uh, first, we've got population. Uh, the world today has 6.8 billion people. That's headed up to about 9 billion. Now, if we do a really great job on new vaccines, health care, reproductive health services, we could lower that by perhaps 10 or 15 percent. And according to Natural News, there are only three ways vaccines might reduce population growth. One, they might kill people slowly. Two, they might reduce fertility. Three, they might increase the death rate from a future pandemic. So let's summarize. Bill Gates, one of the world's greatest philanthropists, according to Natural News, is not only ready to kill a billion people, but he's happy to announce it to the world. But is there another possible explanation? One that even a first year student of either economics or demographics would be very familiar with. But the people at Natural News seem to be blissfully unaware of. Well, of course there is. It's not sinister. It's not even complicated. As the great comic Tim Minchin said, that there might be knowledge frighten you? Does the idea that one afternoon on Wicker fucking Pedia might enlighten you, frighten you? Does the notion that there might not be a supernatural so blow your hippie noodle that you'd rather just stand in the fog of your inability to Google? So let's go to Wikipedia and look up birth rates. Now what do we find is a contributing factor? No surprise to our economics or demographic students. Child mortality rates are a major contributing factor in birth rates. To put it short, if you think several of your children are going to die of a childhood disease, what do you do? You have lots of children to give yourself an insurance policy. People in the West who have lots of vaccines and whose children don't die in such high rates as they do in the third world tend to have less children. So the population in the West is a lot more stable. If one couple has two kids, the population doesn't tend to grow. If they have more than two, it does. We can't just take Wikipedia's word for it. Let's look at some data. Now, uh, here you can see the UK's data. Notice this column, childhood mortality rates have been declining. And it's not a difficult bet to look at birth rates and say, hey, that's doing the same thing. Look at them going down. And if we look at data in the USA, here we see the childhood mortality rate. Notice how it's been going down. And you'll also note that's a period where vaccines have been going up. And then if we look across to the birth rate, guess what? That's going down too. Now I'd make the rather simple and obvious claim that having less of your children suffer a horrible disease which is preventable via vaccines like smallpox or measles or polio, I'd say that's a good thing. And if you decide to have less children as a result of that, that's no bad thing either. This is really just basic demographics. Ask yourself, if Bill Gates was out to harm people, why would he be spending billions of dollars a year on such a wide diversity of world health measures? Let's look at his website here, or I should say, the website of the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. Um, and let's look at, let's say, grants to Africa. This search shows they've made over 500 of these grants, and they're to a wide variety of health measures. Uh, one of their favourite projects is the pro promotion of mosquito nets to prevent malaria. Not exactly the actions of someone that wants to kill people. No, these are the actions of someone who's devoting his life to helping the poor. That the naturopaths can attempt to spin this as something sinister is, quite frankly, ridiculous. But that's what one might expect for those that have an ideological commitment against science and medicine. They only like natural solutions. Well, natural news, what would you do if a large body like a comet was on a collision course for Earth? Would you do the natural thing, which is to do nothing? Or would you want a spacecraft launch to try and divert its course? Think about it. The natural path is not necessarily the best one. Thanks for listening.